How's it going, people? Well, it's Friday the 13th, and I'm feeling lucky because I, I've i uploaded all my videos and I got to delete them off my computer. So now I can make some more. So, let's see where, where we left off. Uh, chapter 21 of 3rd Nephi. Promises to be fascinating. I hope. And I got three torpedoes left. Interesting taste. I'm having trouble narrowing it down. It's some really piney hops <laughs> with a kind of a citrusy something. I don't know. It's unusual, the taste, but I kind of like it. Interesting. All right. Well. Sign of the Father's work. Glorious destiny of repentant Gentiles. Condemnation predicted for the impenitent, the New Jerusalem, and I'm pretty sure they don't mean this. <laughs> Very good translation, though. All right. One. And, verily I say unto you, I give unto you a sign that ye may know that the time when these things shall be about to take place, that I shall gather in from their long uh, dispersion my people, O house of Israel, it shall establish again among them my Zion. It's all about you now, isn't it? Two. And behold, this is the thing which I will give unto you for a sign. For verily, I say unto you that when these things which I declare unto you, and which I shall declare unto you hereafter of myself, and by the power of the Holy Ghost, which shall be given unto you of the Father, shall be made known unto the Gentiles that they may know concerning this people who are a remnant of the house of Jacob and concerning this my people who shall be scattered by them. So this is a prediction that Gentiles will find this gold book and become Mormons, and after that, they're the chosen people, so fuck these people. But they'll remember them. They'll remember that they scattered them. Guess. Three. Verily, verily. Thank you very much. Torpedo time. It's like a, a hint of baby grapefruit, also, maybe. Unusual taste. Interesting. I like it. I say unto you, when these things shall be made known unto them of the Father, it shall come forth of the Father from them unto you. I don't know why anyone has trouble reading this book. It's so plain spoken and just for the common man. All right, it was written in the 1830s, and it sounds like the 1611 King James Bible. An ersatz version of it, of course. <sighs> for, sorry about that tangent. Uh, <laughs> for it is wisdom in the Father that they should be established in this land. 
Americans. I guess that's what they're talking about. Wow, these guys are amazing, these prophets. It's like they they knew all about this. Everything. All the way up to 1830. Then it got a little di dicey after that. But still. <laughs> my, I can't keep it up. Uh, established in this land in verse 4 and be set up as a free people by the power of the Father that these things might come forth unto them unto the remnant of your seed so if a Mormon knocks at a Jewish person's door that's just this prophecy being fulfilled I get it. Yes. That the covenant of the Father may be fulfilled, which he hath covenanted with his people, O house of Israel. Five. Therefore, with these works, and the works which shall be wrought among you hereafter, shall come forth from the Gentiles unto your seed, which shall dwindle in unbelief because of iniquity. Six. For thus it behooveth the Father that it should come forth from the Gentiles, that he may show forth his power unto the Gentiles, For this cause that the Gentiles, if they will not harden their hearts, that they may repent and come unto me and be baptized in my name and know of the true points of my doctrine that they may be numbered among my house my people, O house of Israel. So, there's his covenants. And that's coming up next. Man, a long suffering. <laughs> uh, seven. And when these things come to pass, hold that thought. <laughs> that thy seed shall begin to know these things. It shall be a sign unto them that they may know that the work of the Father hath already commenced unto the fulfilling of the covenant which he hath made unto the people who are of the house of Israel. A whole bunch of ways of saying the same fucking thing. Eight. And when that day shall come, it shall come to pass. That's almost a double it came to pass, really. And when that day shall come, it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass in that day. Then I'm going to take another drink. Kings shall shut their mouths. For that which had not been told of them, they shall uh, shall they see. And that which they had not heard, shall they consider. Nine. For in that day, for my sake, shall the Father work a work. which shall be a great and marvelous work among them, and there shall be among them those who will not believe it. <coughs> Ten. 
although a man shall declare it unto them. Well, that should convince you right there. I mean, if a man declared it, <laughs> Ten. But, behold, the life of my servant shall be in my hand. That's Joseph Smith we're talking about, isn't it? He's predicting himself again. Therefore, they shall not hurt him. No, maybe eventually they'll tar and feather him and at one point shoot him out a fucking window. <laughs> but what's really going to hurt is the fall. Since we're talking, you know, future-wise, I can't do that, so I'm doing it in reverse. You know, it'll happen back when it happened. I fucking forgot the year. <laughs> All right. Although... He shall be marred because of them, as in tarred and feathered, and he lost clumps of hair when they were taking the tar out, feathers, and he had patches of skin that kind of got pulled off, and yeah, he's marred, Joseph Smith, because they tarred and feathered him. I assume that's what he's talking about, being, not being a proper prophet and all, but I, that seems to be the interpretation here. Uh, chime in, you know. Channel's wide open, you can say what you want. Just don't spam me, I hate spam. Yet I will heal him, for I will show unto them that my wisdom is greater than the cunning of the devil. Eleven. Therefore, it shall come to pass. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Eleven. That whosoever will not believe in my words. Who am Jesus Christ? He's, he talk real purdy. Uh, which the Father shall cause him to bring forth on to the Gentiles? And shall give unto him power that he shall bring them forth unto the Gentiles? <clears throat> We're talking about Joseph Smith. Pentacles. It shall be done even as Moses said. Really? I don't see the footnote. Where is he? God damn it. Oh, see Nephi? Third Nephi, even. The last fucking chapter. That's the footnote for that? And I waste time looking for it. God damn it. They shall be cut off from among my people who are of the covenant. So somebody shit out of luck. You're covetless. Covenantless. Twelve. And my people who are a remnant of Jacob, who is also Israel, but we're switching up because it was getting tedious, shall be among the Gentiles, yea, in the midst of them as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both tread it down and tear it in pieces, and none can deliver. Thirteen, that sounds familiar. Uh, fuck it. Um, 13. Their hands shall be lifted up upon their adversaries, and all their enemies shall be cut off. 14. But first, let's have another torpedo. Torpedo. 
torpedo loss. Fire torpedoes. Damn the torpedoes. Yeah. What is this? Okay. First 14. Yay. Woe be unto the Gentiles, except they repent. For it shall come to pass. In that day, saith the Father, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots. Because we all know that in Mesoamerica there was chariots and horses all over the place. Even though they can't find a trace. Including none of these highways and roads and cement buildings and metal coins of gold and silver and shit. And steel swords and armor. None of that. Fifteen. And I will cut off the cities of thy land. It's hard to tell what time period he's talking about now. He's all over the place. And throw down all thy strongholds. Sixteen. And I will cut off witchcrafts. They believe in witchcraft. Out of thy land. And thou shalt have no more soothsayers. Seventeen. Thy graven images I will also cut off. And thy standing images out of the midst of thee. And thou shalt no more worship the works of thy hands. <clears throat> Eighteen. And I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee. So I will destroy thy cities. He's back to that part. Okay. Full circle there. He's just in a destroying mood uh, sometime in the future. He knows he's going to get mad and they're going to piss him off. But we're not exactly sure when that is. Sometime in the future, or it happened in the past. Who fucking knows? Nineteen. And shall come to pass. That. All lyings and deceivings and envyings, envyings and strifes and priestcrafts. That's like witchcraft, except priests do it. And whoredoms! You're not going to leave anything for us. Come on, at least leave the whoredoms. Damn it! Shall be done away. You're a buzzkill. All right, 20. Four. It shall come to pass. Ah, boy, that poppy, piney taste is kind of increasing. Damn. Mm. Saith the Father that at that day, whatever it is, uh, whosoever will not repent and come unto my beloved son them I will cut off from among my people O house of Israel well then he's not talking to me he's talking to the house of Israel <laughs> I don't care <laughs> uh, 21 and I will execute and fury upon them, even as upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. 
22. But if they will repent and hearken unto my words and harden not their hearts, I will establish my church among them. And they shall come in unto the covenant and be numbered. Get that branding iron nice and hot. Among this, the remnant of Jacob, unto whom I have given this land for an inheritance. Good things that they're already reciting there. Yeah, until the Gentiles get it for their inheritance next. 23. And they shall assist my people, the remnant of Jacob, and also as many of the house of Israel. That's the same thing. Israel is Jacob. They had a name change. That's all. <sighs> As shall come. So if there's any Jewish people out there that want to be Mormon, now's your chance. I'm trying to help folks. That they may build a city which shall be called the New Jerusalem. I wonder on what continent that will be uh, built. 24. And then shall they assist my people, that they may be gathered in, who are scattered upon the face of the land unto the new Jerusalem. 25. And then shall the power of heaven come down upon them, and I also will be in the midst. Count on that. 26. And then shall the work of the Father commence at that day. You finally get busy, huh? Even when this gospel shall be preached among the remnant of this people. The Indians? What? <clears throat> Verily. I say unto you, at that day shall the work of the Father commence among all the dispersed of my people. There he is. He owns their ass. Yea, even the tribes which have been lost, he gets all of them, which the Father hath led away out of Jerusalem. So they're not really lost then, are they? 27. Yea, the work shall commence among all the dispersed of my people. Yeah, he said that before. With the Father to prepare the way whereby they may come unto me. He keeps coming back to that point. Lots and lots of repetition here. That they may call on the Father in my name. That's the only way it works. 28. Yay. And then shall the work commence with, with the Father among all nations in preparing the way whereby his people may be gathered home to the land of their inheritance. Which one? This one or the other one? Or both. 29. And they shall go out from all nations on bicycles with backpacks. <laughs> uh, dressed in black and white. But mostly white. <laughs> and they shall not go out in haste. Good thing nor go by flight, which is also going by haste. 
for I will go before them, saith the Father, and I will be their rearward, rearward, there's that word again, it's something good, that's all I can say, that's it for verse 21, let's read some DNC, and if you're not down with that piece, the fuck out, have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having, you're missing out on some boring ass shit. Sure you don't want to check it out.